Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Wi-Fi missing from settings or not showing in your computer and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into a step. You can try this step if you're having the trouble with the Wi-Fi. So let me directly get into a step one by one. So the first one is all about you have to go over here, search for the control panel. Then you have to get into the control panel. Now from here, what you need to just make sure that is set into the last icons. Then what you need to just go over here on the internet options. Now from here, what we just click on the advanced and from here, what we need to do is just click on restore advanced setting. This is the first and foremost step that you need to try after restore advanced setting. Just go for OK, then close everything and you have to check the Wi-Fi is enabled or it is back or not. Still, if you are having the trouble, the just next one is all about just go over here, search for the settings. Now from here, you have to navigate to the network and internet. From here, what just scroll down over here and you have to go to advanced network settings. Now from here, you have to scroll down and navigate to the network reset and go for the reset now. And once you go for the reset now, you will be losing the connections available right now. Already connected will be disqualified, which means you have to connect it back once again and the PC will be automatically restarted. For many users, net, the reset network settings did work it. So I'm suggesting you can try this. Most probably they should be completely fixed by this particular step. After resetting, your PC will be automatically restarted. Then you have to try connecting. It will be, uh, you'll be available. And I mean, the Wi-Fi will be available in the connection. Just connected by the password and you have to check. If still, if you're having the trouble, don't worry, you can try the filling step. Make sure it's all about just go over here, search for the services and you have to click on the service. Now from here, once this pop up, you have to scroll down over here at the bottom, navigate to the W. You can keep scrolling down and navigate to the W over here. Now over here on the W, you just need to find the fillet one. The first one is all about we have to find WLAN or to config. So right click on this one and go to the properties. Make sure the startup type is automatic and the service status is running. So sometimes this might stop it, which causing the issue. So if it is stop it, you have to click on the start then go for apply and go for OK. And if it is already up and running, right click on this one, go for the restart, then it will take you a bit of time. And once it restart, as you can see, the Wi-Fi will be connected back. This is what you have to right now for me, it is grayed out. But when I done the reset, restart, it will be a couple of minutes. Once you can see the Wi-Fi is restored back. Up, apart from this, you have to go to the WWA in auto config, right click on this one, go to the properties, make sure the starter type is automatic and the service status should be running. If it is stop it, you have to make sure it is running. Go for OK and right click on this one once again, go for the restart. After the restart, you have to check with the Wi-Fi. So in my case, it is actually restore it back and I'm fine with it. But if I'm still having the trouble, then what I need to do is I just need to go to the next one. That is all about just go over here once again, search for the control panel. Then I need to be on the control panel. Now from here, what you need to just go over here the network and sharing center. Now go to change the laptop settings. And this is my Wi-Fi. I have to select this one. Make sure it is enabled. If it is already disabled or if it is already enabled, then you can disable it, enable it back. Vice versa I can be we can try in both and you have to check if it is already disabled then try enabling it back for me it is actually disabled in the sense it's already there but if it is disabled i'll be having enable option so you can enable this and you have to check that might work still if you're having the trouble with the wi-fi and the nightmare has been not subtly gone we can just go over here search for the device manager and click on the device manager now from here you have to go to the network adapters now from here you have to find your driver and this is my driver but what I need to do is the first one, whether I have to check whether it is disabled or not. If it is disabled, you have to enable it back. After enabling it back, the next one is all about what I need to do is I just need to go over here, right click on the Wi-Fi, go for update driver, go to browse mode driver. Let me pick and what I need to do is I just need to select the first one over here at the top. Then go for the next and afterwards you have to check. Stay if it's not done and if you're having the trouble, then just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Sorry. You have to go over here, go to uh, action, then go to the scan for hardware changes and check whether it is visible and also view and make a click on the show hidden device. So all the available Wi-Fi will be available here. If it is disabled, you can enable it back or if it is grayed out, it will be visible right now after enabling the show hidden device. Now all the hidden devices, I mean, all the devices will be visible here. Now from here, you have to check. After trying these steps and still you're having a lot of trouble and then you can try one final step that just go over here in the run and this time we have to type msconfig then you have to go over here press enter 
that's going to take you this particular one win and now if you're here in the gentle make sure the starter type is made set into normal startup then just go for apply and before that go to the services go for disable or go to hide all microsoft services so go to enable all then go to apply and go for okay now it will ask you for restart just do a restart after the restart most probably they should become completely fixed this is what you have to do and i hope this kick be self-way that's it bye bye